Hello, and welcome to our tutorial, how to find out what your cover image resolution is. This is probably one of the most important things you'll do with your book cover. A lot of covers we get in, they have low resolution images. They grab some clip art off of a website or, you know, something they had laying around. But the optimal resolution is 300 dpi. I mean, anything between 200 and 300 we find acceptable, but the optimal is 300. So the way to find out if your images are the right resolution is that you want to look at them. So the first thing we do here is I got my cover image that I'm going to use for my book cover. And what you want to do is you want to right click, so let me do that again, on your mouse, use the right click, and then go down to open with paint. Here it'll open it up. You can see it's a pretty big image, so I'm just going to zoom out so we can see it better. So there it is. And the next step is you want to come up here to this little tab and come down to Properties. And right here it tells you the resolution. This is 300 dpi. That's perfect. Anything higher just makes your file bigger. It's not going to print any better. Anything smaller, the resolution, you know, it's not going to print as good. But, you know, 200 is good, but up to 300 is optimal. Anything under 200, you're going to really start seeing some fuzziness, some graininess in the photo. So when you do open it up, sometimes it'll be set to pixels. Make sure you change it to inches. And you want to see what size it is. This is 7.22 wide by 10.83 inches high. So I'm going to be doing a 5.5, 8.5 cover, so this is perfect. You know, I'm not going to be enlarging the photo because when you enlarge the photo, you're going to lose resolution. If you shrink a photo, which I'm going to have to do for my cover, I'm not going to lose any of that resolution. But make sure you never increase the size of it. You can shrink it, don't enlarge. So that is it for this. So that looks good. Now if you don't have paint, there's another way you can do this. It's a little more difficult, but you can click open and go all the way down to properties and a window will pop up and right here you can go to details and it has the image size the width and height and pixels but then it also tells you the DPI and this is 300 DPI so I know it's good you'll just have to remember not to enlarge the image again never enlarge you can shrink don't enlarge um, the other thing to watch out for is when you go to buy an image from a website and so forth, watch out for how many times it can be used. A lot of times they might have restrictions on how many you know books you can print with it and so forth. So there'll be some maybe some copyright things, but um, they'll be it'll be very explanatory when you look at it. So um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thanks a lot.